All right, we're live. I'm not live, but I'm live. Uh, it's been a minute. I've been so buried and busy, uh, just with life, kids. Uh, now uh, sixth grade football. So I'm sporting my Waukesha North. Actually, this is a Waukesha North baseball hat. I think they geared it to kind of be a little bit of the. So this is a lowercase n. But I was thinking about it. I think this is like R N for like right now. Or maybe it's the hurricane split. You know, the Hur Miami Hurricanes got the white and the orange on the green cap. I'm not sure. I should ask. But uh, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, this season's off to a good start. We are going to be on practice nine today. Today being Wednesday the 10th. So yeah, we're doing really good. Got a huge part of the install done on the offensive coordinator and O-line coach. And now a D-line coach because... Um, one of our seven guys actually bailed. He's supposed to be more of this fitness guy, so he had this passion to get the kids like all whipped up into shape. But when you're dealing with 11-year-olds, you can pretty much get into shape early just by doing all of the install and all of the drills and some of the running and the conditioning that happens like in the first 15, 20 minutes. But otherwise, uh, we really get into the fitness part. Um, you know, once the major offensive install is kind of done and we're kind of just going through reps and reps and reps. So... He didn't stick around long enough. He never voices, voiced his, you know, what do you want to say, grievance or gripes. But, whatever. Uh, we had a new guy kind of show up uh, who I wanted to coach on our team for two years. He showed up yesterday um, to check out our practice to see if he wants to join in. So hopefully that works out well. Um, it's been a long time since I did a video. I have a lot of stuff to go through. I'm excited to go through it to kind of remember uh, everything that I've gotten in the past couple months. Uh, i got some big stuff. One of the things I, I picked up while we are on a trip, a buddy of mine told me he was unloading his um, uh, UFC magazine cover collection. I thought this was going to be a magazine, but it's just an 8x10 of the magazine cover. Signed by my guy, Conor McGregor. So August 26th can't come quick enough. If Conor wins by some... Not a miracle, but if Connor wins, DK's going to Vegas to cash in my slip. I put uh, a couple hundred down on Connor, uh, so that would pay me nine hundred bucks. If Connor goes to decision and loses, DK gets all of his money back plus like forty. So yeah, um, let's just cross our fingers he does not get knocked out, so DK doesn't lose everything. But even, even if I do, I'm fine with it. Uh, my wife wanted to bet on it, so we bet on it, and either way. If he goes to decision and loses, uh, if Floyd wins by decision after 12, DK walks around, walks away with 40. If Connor wins by any means necessary, uh, we're going to fly to Vegas and catch in our slip because my dad picked it up for me in Rio. So I'm stoked to have that. And let's hope DK can pose with some of his fat stack off of my pay slip. If not, it's all good um, for sure. Really, I'm not normally a uh, probably since last time I did a video, I've started wagering on um, on fights with friends and uh, th you know online. So I got a little bit of a, bal a little bit of a balance building up. So it's it's been fun. It's been added a new wrinkle to uh, watching MMA fights. So my most recent return is Ill Will Brooks. This was a card I made up on uh, the Rookies app. This was a, one of the two cards I made up. I gave him one of these to keep. Uh, so it's signed there, Ill Will Brooks. I think that's his Will Brooks sig in the middle. And this was him when he was the Bellator champ. So there you go, lightweight. Nice looking cards. And he sent me this pretty transparent letter. Uh, don't tell my wife it's what it says. He's blaming her for the delay. Oh, yeah. So I've had Jeff Curran's cards forever. And finally I was like, I need to send these. So I got two of these done, one's for trade, one's already in my trade binder, actually underneath um, this camera, or the iPad. Two of two from Stitch em Up, Joe Schilling. So this is a Pride card I made up on the Rookies app, and this is a Bellator MMA card. Signed them both with Stitch em Up. Got Kevin Casey, inscribed the king, signed it real small on the top. Uh, long awaited return from Josh Koscheck. I've gotten several Koscheck TTMs, but I've always never gotten these cards done. I actually have a certified autograph of this one, so I'm going to be wiping off the 2 Dave on there and taking the 2 Dave off this one. This is a 2012 Bloodlines, really nice card. Uh, 101 from Dan Kelly from overseas, I think it's Australia area. 
He has a gym there. He recently lost by a nasty KO. I uh, forgot to who, but then he had, before that he had beaten Rashad Evans. He needs to get knee surgery, get back to 100% so he can train and uh, look look ready to go. Josh Berkman recently got devoured by um, Drew Dober. I got a Drew Dober returning here too. Uh, I paid for this, uh, made up a custom of Kurt Angle and sent it off with donation, so five bucks for Kurt Angle. I put the tap or snap down there, angle, I think I put what, hashtag angle, angle lock, and 96 gold in the top, so he signed it nicely in black, and then um, Linton Bessel, nice guy, trains down in Florida, he's a Bellator fighter, sent me this one as an extra, so I'm going to be giving this away to somebody who wants it, or collects 4x6s, uh, next was a nice return from Al Ayakinta, who does realty and uh, fights in the UFC, I'm not sure if these are up upgrades. This is obviously the custom I made. Um, one of the first customs I wanted to make once I found the rookies app. I wanted to make this one because I remember this moment when he told the fan it's not to boo him. This is a 15 champions. And then Al um, sent me his used hand wrap uh, from UFC Fight Night 108. So I asked him to inscribe it. Fight Warn or FW Fight Night or FW FN 108. So it's Fight Warren, Fight Night 108, and you put and dated it, but he forgot to sign it. So I'm going to send it back um, with my Sharpie because he lost my other four cards. Um, and he's cool like that. He's fine with it. He knows I'm going to send him some more cards because they got lost. What's this? Oh, this one. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but I sent it to uh, C1 or Class 1 MMA in New York. Actually, I was corresponding with him while my family and I were out vacationing out east in New York and Virginia and Washington. I went to Washington, D.C. for uh, the fireworks and then went to Virginia for a few days. So, yeah. New York City was nice. It's like a third or fourth time we've been there. Really like that place a lot. Love the subways. Just love everything about that city. Uh, so, I got 404 from Derek Brunson. Took a really long time. Sent to somewhere to a guy who helped me out. But I think he can be had through his own MMA gym. Uh, I think this might be an upgrade. And there is the 15 Chronicles. 101 from a coach, Lloyd Irvin. Runs his own academy out in New Jersey area. Maybe it's Maryland. So we've got a note here from Mr. Dan Lambert. He is the owner of ATT Coconut Creek, where many, many people sign through. Uh, so I made up this um, from a team photo. I took that, made a rookie's uh, custom out of it. Really nice guy. Told me to hit him up just so he could send me some. I really wanted to sign a business card, but he gave me his contact information so I could uh, so he could send me some stuff. Nice guy. I got this in a trade from Sam on Instagram. Sam on Instagram. That should be in a wrap, huh? And then Marvin Eastman. And then a TTM return from Brian Ortega. I won a parlay because of Brian Ortega. He was a plus bet, and the rest of them were favorites, so um, cashed out like 70 in that parlay. Uh, Brian Barbarina, second time I got him. I uh, made more cards for him, so I figured I'd make duplicates for him to sign for me. Oops. Din Thomas, care of ATT Coconut Creek. Really cool custom. Uh, that's him right there. This is Jeremy Stevens. Uh, Chris Wade. Another custom. You guys get the trend, huh? If you guys have never seen cards like this before, it's because they're customs. Marlon, uh, I think he sent me a note, too. Uh, yep, sent me a note. I actually met him in 2013 in Florida with my son. We did a little graphing in Orlando. And here's the Drew Dober. He's the one who wrecked um, Josh Berkman. Kind of hard to watch. So here's a little note. And then he sent me his... Um, Athlete retreat um, credential that he had in his lanyard. Actually, oh, he signed it right there. That's cool. And this was his itineraries. Nice guy. Nice guy. Cool guy. So that's fun. About halfway through the pile, boys. Uh, Travis Luter signed one of one. Small right there underneath his face. Uh, these were ghost signed from Dan um, Mark Mac Danzig. I'm going to wipe the SIGs off and resend them. I sent those to his house. I should have sent them to a gym, so I think 
His wife got a hold of those. Uh, Coach Robert Fallis of Extreme Couture. Nice guy. Met him in Chicago uh, 2015 at the after party with um, Misha Tate and Brian Carraway. Some um, Tiago Alves. And this one was Bustamente. Nice to get him. I sent to um, Brazil. Nice guy to correspond with. And he brought him back to the U.S. when he did some seminars. Uh, Damian Maya. This was a long, long ago sent to a seminar. These came back surprisingly from San Diego. I think I sent them to Colorado, though. I don't know how that works. Oh, you know what? Shoot, I got in-person stuff upstairs. This is an extra. I'm going to take the two David off the top. And put that in my extras. If you guys want to trade, let me know. Uh, custom from Justin Buckholtz. One of the, one of the, I think it might be the main head coach over at Team Alpha Male with, like, um... There's a note from like Cody Garbrandt and so many other guys. I can't even think of them. You're right, Faber is the gym owner. John Anik. This is when he lost that bet and he had to get a UFC or not. He had a, he got a 209 tattoo because uh, Nate Diaz or Nick Diaz beat Nate. Sorry, Nate Diaz beat Connor in their first fight. Jason Knight, super nice guy, awesome fighter. Sucks to see him lose versus Ricardo Lamas. Uh, some Forrest Griffin ink. Actually, this one's coming back from Rich Franklin. I had it first signed by Forrest Griffin across the middle. So you see Forrest, and then Rich Franklin signed it down there. Still put my name on it, which is dumb. Only got one or two back then. And then uh, some Randy Coutures. Some top ten fights, I think. Yep, top ten title fights. A couple different variations. And then Tim Johnson signed this nicely. Good to correspond with. Didn't want one of them. Didn't did not want a duplicate for him to keep for himself. So I only made one and sent one, and then later bet against him <laughs> and won. Uh, so yeah, some Cowboy Cerrone's that were long, long time waits. Man, it really sucks. I left. What else did I leave upstairs? I freaking left my IP stuff upstairs and then um, so this was the note from John Anik the one that had to get the tattoo so that's a blank and he actually sent my note back for some reason and then lastly from what I got laying down here so yeah it was just some stuff I did in a little trade so here's speaking of Team Alpha Male there's Uriah Faber on a, I forget what this was Something top of the class, I think. This is a series I really thought was crap. There wasn't any base cards you could TTM out of that. And then I got this Kote, uh, Brandon Schaub, who does Fighter and the Kid now, and does a lot of comedy. And then, um, oh, that's what I got. And then these were extras that the guy threw in. And this was um, Bobby King Green. She signs it King. And then the main thing I was getting in that trade was this. Hope it comes across good in the light. Let's give it a shot. Let me see if I can get it. Let's see. So see that card in the top? So I got a Dana White figure, a round five figure that was given to me loose. A signed um, UFC training glove with the boss inscription, and then that's what I wanted at the top. Thoughts from the boss. Crap. Is it working? So there he is, him and Demetrius Johnson showing up backwards on my screen. Um, so hope you guys. Um, so yeah, I finished the shadow box. I've had the figure and the box. I think I got the box on clearance, and I got that card up there. It's obviously easier to see in person than it is trying to put this up to the iPad. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go back upstairs, get some more work done, working from home today. My son Josh, uh, my 14-month-old, he actually had surgery because he was born with his fingers were webbed right here. And then he was born with a sixth toe. So, like, in between his pinky and the next toe was, like, a legit fork. Like, he had a bone and a toe. So, all that got done, and he's, um, like, this with purple casts up to here, right there. What's up? And then uh, up to his thigh on his... Um, right leg I think so all he has is one limb but uh, 21 days so three weeks from today 
because today is Thursday the 10th. I think I might have said Wednesday yesterday. Thursday the 10th. So, if, yeah. In three weeks, he's getting those off. So it's gonna, I can't wait for that. Um, so he can be free. But he's actually in a good mood. He likes to play. You just have to be able to, you gotta be, able, you gotta play with him. You have to feed him. You gotta carry him. He kind of crawls. Looks kind of like a sloth. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but it's funny. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully, it won't be too long from now. But I do have to show that UFC 214 in person autograph. So I think I'm gonna do that when I get the other package because my buddy got me UFC 214. I'm looking at the time. UFC 214 in person sign up cards and UFC 213 cards. So two two thirteens are coming. So then when those come in, I'll do both. So that's at least 15 or so cards. Okay, guys, take care. See you in church.